All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, moving information back and forth with ham radio, trying to reimagine radio in the information age. Hey, today we're going to talk about the DigiPi a little more, not maybe about the guts, but we actually have a case for this thing now, a case for the DigiPi. So we're going to talk about 3D printing a little bit. Uh, maybe you guys are 3D printing experts. I know I am not. I'm a 3D printer learner. So let's see if we can uh, put together a case for the DigiPi, the Raspberry Pi uh, Radio uh, Data TNC, this time on KM6 LYW Radio. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, all right. Welcome back. Yeah, you know, I don't think we've done Rolling Stones yet. And in fact, this is the 100th video, 100 videos for KM6 LYW Radio. And I, I can't, you know, I couldn't do this without you guys, without your support. Otherwise, you know, this would get boring real quick. We built a community around this channel. We've got a lot of cool people in Discord, constantly exchanging email with you guys and talking with you guys on the radio. I really appreciate it. One person that really stands out from the crowd right now is Aaron Bond. Hey, this one is dedicated to you, Aaron Bond, W1ATB. He uh, donated a 3D printer to the club, and we had a huge ham fest and a raffle. And guess who drew the winning lucky raffle ticket? So I've been messing with 3D printing lately, and Aaron's been a huge help. So thank you, Aaron, so much for the 3D printer and, and the support there, uh, not just here, but in the channel, the club, the community. And uh, actually, Aaron works at the candy store, a ham radio outlet. So go check out ham radio outlet. Uh, he's famous for working at HRO or or infamous? I don't know. I don't know the right word to use. Anyways, uh, check out Aaron at HRO. So let's talk about this uh, this 3D printed case we've got for the Raspberry Pi or for the DigiPi. It's a, it's a Raspberry Pi Zero underneath there, then an audio board, and then a little screen on top. So it took some effort. Let me make me smaller so you guys can actually see this this cool stuff. It took. I'm not a 3D printer expert, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm just a learner. So maybe you guys can help me out. I mean, I just kind of learned some some CAD software, and you know, I've been messing with the printer, which has just been tons of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can make all kinds of cool ham radio stuff with this. Um, but what I did was I actually ripped off a ripped off. That's a strong word. Uh, borrowed the design of a Raspberry Pi Zero um, device here, and this is uh, on Thingiverse, and it's by my name is Hamish. Hamish, that's who made this. Anyways, and it's got a cool lid on it. You can put your Raspberry Pi Zero in it. The one thing this didn't have was, you know, it just wasn't tall enough. You couldn't stack stuff on it. Um, so, and I know a lot of DigiPies can be various heights. Um, like this one um, uses an Adafruit stacking header. So, you know, it happens to be about this high. You know, there's a, there's a Raspberry Pi dirt at the bottom of this. And then there's an audio board, an FE Pi audio board. You can get a different board for that. And then there's a little monitor on there. And then there's a little window that will display activity if you implemented the LEDs for transmit, Bluetooth, and receive. And yeah, you'll see the little green light came on there. And it's got this cool frosted window right here, you know, a diffusing window for the LEDs. I'm calling it a, def <laughs> it's scotch tape, but you know, I won't tell if you don't. So I think this case is, is pretty cool. So thank you. Uh, my name is Hamish on Thingiverse. Um, so what I did is I actually sat down and I tried to learn, uh, tried to learn Blender. Blender, which is a 3D modeling program. Let me get all this stuff out of the way here. Um, it's, it's really kind of a CAD I don't know, what do you call Blender? 3D modeling program? I guess it is. So I took, uh, I took the, the object, the thingy, uh, from that you just saw and uh, I was able to highlight a lot of vertices on this You're not gonna really have to use blender So I'm, I'm gonna make this available to you guys So it's gonna be in the description of the video here So you can you can download and get this case for the DigiPi And so what I did is highlighted all of these vertices and then after an hour I discovered if you type hold the mouse still you type G X and Actually what I want to do is type G Z and you'll notice I can stretch this thing out. So every time when you get a DigiPi and a stacking header, no two stacking headers are basically the same height. So I was wondering, you know, how am I going to make a DigiPi for, you know, systems that have short headers or maybe your headers are a little long. Um, so what we can do with Blender is actually stretch this up and down. And if you're not a Blender expert, you know, maybe I can stretch yours a little bit. It really took a lot of trial and error to get the height just right and then to get a lid on it. So if you got a really tall stacking header, you know, you can make it about that high and that's cool. And then, of course, we've got a lid for this thing too. Um, that I worked on for a little while. No, I don't want to save this. Um, let me find the, the lid. And it's actually a lot of fun learning how to use Blender. Um, I don't know if you're, you know, engineering or, you know, 
adept at 3D spatial things, but I was able to, you know, reduce the the, op the GPIO pin opening too. So it just fits that monitor just right. And then we've got that cool window in case you've got some LEDs there um, that you <laughs> want to display on your DigiPi. So it's really just two objects. They're really quick to print on the printer, you know, less than two hours, you know, which is actually kind of quick when it comes to 3D printing. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's, it's, a, it's an inherently slow process. So anyways, it was a lot of fun. It was just a, a fun project to, to do. And again, I want to thank Aaron Bond for the 3D printer. I appreciate it. And then I, I also got to thank all of you guys uh, on Patreon.com. You guys are the ones making this possible. If I can find this here. Um, let me go to the top here. Patreon.com slash KM6LYW. Um, that'll get you access to the DigiPi SD card image. That's this little thing that's doing a TNC duty right now. It does all kinds of cool stuff. It's an APRS Digipeter, Linux node, bulletin board, email server. It'll do WSJTX, FT8, JSA call, all of that stuff. And it goes to patrons of the channel. So if you go to digipi.org, uh, patrons, you'll be able to download this SD card image. You can jam it in your Raspberry Pi and it'll do this stuff. And you'll be able to put it in a cool case now. You know, it won't, won't, won't look all sketchy you know a bunch of electronic parts you know stuck to your radio we gotta make radio not only sound cool but look cool so that's, that's what this case is doing and this goes to patrons of the channel so i gotta thank you guys we got foo steve uh, mark ryan brian jake chris jim brad in tony malcolm buddy roberts uh, Kevin, Michael, Simon, Paul, Eddie, Aaron Bond. Hey, there's Aaron, the donator of the KM6LYW 3D printer. Thank you, Aaron Braun, W1ATB. Appreciate it. We got Bradley. I've got so many people. I don't think I can read the names anymore, you guys. This is just uh, the support has just been simply overwhelming. Um, it really has. Uh, in fact, I, I'm trying to get these videos down to 10 minutes. Um, at, at YouTube statistics says you guys have a 10 minute attention span. And I know mine's a lot less than that. So I'm, I'm actually, that's actually pretty good. So we'll get these down. All right. So patrons, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it. So let me know if you guys do some 3D printouts on the Discord channel. Um, we've, I've seen some cool uh, case designs out there. Uh, this is kind of the one I had in mind my whole time. And I figured I could just, you know, kind of rearrange someone else's uh, case, which is kind of what we did here. All right, guys. Hey, my name is Craig. Uh, this has been KM6LYW Radio. I'm in cool California, and I am clear. <laughs>